Hello everyone, this is Vivek Singh and I am working as a Senior Solutions Specialist with Informatica. In this video, we will be talking about how to enable single sign-on for Informatica web application using Okta. Agenda of today's video is, first we will have a quick overview of single sign-on for Informatica web applications and then we will be having a look at the prerequisites before we start configuring Okta SSO. Then we will be having a step-by-step -step guide to configure Okta SSO which includes enabling LDAP connectivity and syncing Active Directory users from AD to Informatica domain. Then configuring Okta SSO and enabling Okta SSO for Informatica domain. We will also have a demo which shows how you can do all the steps in real time. You can enable users to log into Informatica web applications such as administrator, analyst, metadata manager, enterprise data catalog, enterprise data preparation using single sign-on. In this video, we will be talking about how to configure single sign-on in Informatica domain using security assertion markup language SAML version 2.0 and Okta SSO as an identity provider. On Informatica platform 10.5, the supported products are Data Engineering Integration, Enterprise Data Catalog, Enterprise Data Preparation and Metadata Manager. The Okta SSO version should be 2021.02.3 and above. Before we start configuring Okta SSO, there are free prerequisites. This needs to be verified before we start the integration with Informatica. The installation of Okta SSO version should be 2021.02.3 or higher. We should be having Okta admin dashboard URL ready with us because here we are going to do all the configuration. The Informatica should be deployed in the same network as the Okta SSO deployment and we should be having all the details related to Informatica such as Informatica domain, host machine, IP, catalog, URL, administrator URL, URL and catalog admin URL. Once we have fulfilled all the prerequisites, then we can start configuring the Okta SSO in Informatica EDC. I have divided the steps in three parts. The first part is to enable LDAP connectivity to synchronize Active Directory users in Informatica domain. Once we have synchronized the Active Directory users into Informatica domain, then we can configure Okta SSO and here, we will be syncing or importing users from Active Directory to Okta. We will also create an application in Okta which will be used for single sign-on. And then we can enable Okta SSO in Informatica domain. The very first step is to enable LDAP connectivity to synchronize Active Directory users in Informatica Administrator. First, we need to configure LDAP and we need to create a security group in Informatica Administrator. Then we can sync the users from Active Directory to Informatica domain and we can assign required roles and privileges to the synced users from AD to Informatica domain. These steps can be performed using Informatica Administrator UI or you can use InfaCMD commands to perform all these steps. In this video, we will be doing all three steps in Informatica Administrator UI. Let me jump into the Informatica Administrator UI and perform all three steps. In Informatica Administrator, go to Security and then click on LDAP Configuration. Here, we need to create one LDAP Configuration. Provide a name to your LDAP Configuration and then Server Name, Port Information, Username and Password. In this video, I am going to use Microsoft Active Directory. Hence, I will be providing details to Microsoft Active Directory. Here, Principal User is Active Directory Admin User which you can use to pull users from Active Directory to Informatica domain. After providing all the details, click on the Test Connection and you will see message LDAP Connection is valid. Here, we need to provide a name to the security domain and then we can provide filter to pull only the required users and group from Active Directory into Informatica domain. To provide user search base and filter, we can go to LDAP and here you can see I'm having GCS underscore HC organization unit and inside that users and group are two organization unit. Inside user, I'm having three users and then I'm having one group inside groups organization unit. Out of these three users, two are part of EDC underscore catalog group. If I click on this group, I can see user one and user two are part of this group. Now to provide user base and filter, I can click on, you can click on any user and you can use this attribute to provide user search base and filter. In this case, if you notice for this user, this user is part of com domain configuration and inside com it's part of PAADS domain configuration and then inside that, it's part of GCS HC organization unit and then it's part of users organization unit. So this thing I can use is use it as a user search base. And in this user search base, I want to get all the users from Active Directory. So here I will look for a common attribute. In this case, if you see object class is equal to user, this can be used as a filter criteria to pull all the three users from this organization unit. Similarly, for group search base, I can go to my LDAP and I can click on the group and from here I can use this DC is equal to com and then DC is equal to PADS inside that organization unit is GCS underscore HC and inside that the organization unit is group. So this particular thing I can use it as a group 
search base and from this group search base i want to get only edc underscore catalog group if you have multiple group then you can apply the filter accordingly in this case i'm having i'm having just one group and i can use cn is equal to edc catalog as a filter criteria for group specified the search base and filter criteria you can click on preview to make sure your filters are working perfectly here when i click on ed users i can see all the three users and similarly if i click on group i can see the group is visible here that means my filter criteria is working fine i will click on ok and then i can click on save and synchronize if you want to schedule the synchronization on a regular interval you can even go to the schedule and you can create your own schedule in this case i will just save and synchronize once the synchronization is done i can click on group and verify if the users are imported from ad to informatica domain and here i can see all the three users are imported similarly in the group i can go and under ldap configuration i can see this group is imported then now the next step is to assign required roles or privileges to the group or users so in this case i will assign admin privileges to user 1 for that click on the user and then go to the privileges and click on edit and assign the required privileges in this case i will be assigning admin role on all the informatica services for demo purpose so now this user will be having admin privileges on all the informatica services now we are done with configuring active directory and syncing users from active directory to informatica domain the next step is to configure octa sso and for that we need to follow some series of steps here so the very first step is to download and install the active directory agent and this we need to do it on the domain machine from where we can access the active directory domain and then we will be importing users from active directory into octa followed by we'll be creating an application in octa and there we will be providing urls for which we want to enable single sign on so in this case we will be providing our administrator url edc catalog url and edc catalog admin url and then we will be assigning users to the application in octa and then we also need to download the trusted certificate octa trust certificate and import it into informatica trust certificate to perform all these steps let me jump into the octa dashboard so log into octa dashboard using your administrator account and once you logged in click on the directory and click on directory integration click on add active directory and here you can see where exactly you can install the active directory agent click on setup active directory and then you can click on download agent and it will download one exe file we need to install this exe file on the host machine where active directory agent will be running and it can it should be able to connect to the domain active directory domain and pull the users if you go down you can see there are few parameters provided on this screen so the very first is your octa organization url and it is also listing your octa administrator account using which you have logged in so these will be used while installing octa ad agent now i will jump into the host uh, ad host machine where i'm going to install the downloaded octa agent so i have copied the o octa ad agent in my host machine and here i'm going to install this here we need to give the name of the active directory domain and then we need to we can create a, an octa service account which will be running this octa ad agent or we can use an existing user as well in this case i will be using a octa service account here so i'm going to use this octa service account once you click next it will ask you to set up a password in this case since i'm already having this octa service account in place so it's asking me to enter the password but if you are doing it for the first time it will ask you to set up a password once you have given your password now in this screen we need to provide the details which was provided on the download screen for that we'll be clicking on the custom and then we can copy organization url from this download page and we can paste this here in this screen it will ask you to enter your administrator credentials for octa dashboard so this will be the same account which was displayed on the download page once installation is completed you can click on finish and if you come back to octa dashboard you will see a message like active directory agent is started now click on next 
and on this page it will ask you from where you want to import your active directory users so in my case i will be importing users from gcs hc organization unit and inside that from the users organization unit similarly for group i will be choosing under gcs hc organization unit i will be choosing group and then you can specify what should be the octa username format when the users will be imported so i am selecting sam account name here now you will see message active directory agent is configured on this screen you can see the active directory user and octa users profile matching if you want to make any changes you can do so i will click next here on this provisioning page we will be clicking on to octa and here i will click on edit and under custom i will be giving sam account name as a octa username format now click on import and here we can import users and group from active directory into octa so click on import now and since this is the first time so i will be selecting full import three users and one group is scanned click ok and the users will be imported here just review it so all three are new users so i'll just select all of them and confirm assignment you can also check auto activate user after confirmation so the users will be automatically activated once the users and groups are imported you can confirm it by clicking on people and all the imported users will be listed here along with their status click on group to see the imported group now we need to create one application to do that click on application create app integration select saml 2.0 and click next provide name to the application next in single sign on url provide url of informatica administrator console for which we want to enable single sign on i also want to enable single sign on for ldm catalog and catalog admin using the same application so click on allow this app to request other sso url and add catalog and catalog url as well audience uri put informatica and then leave all other values as it is in the attribute statement create one attribute called username with specified value so here basically we are trying to extract alias name from the email address which will be imported from the active directory to octa click on next click i am an octa customer adding an internal app click finish on the next page you can see view setup instructions click on that and a new page will open here you can see single sign on url this url we will be using while enabling single sign on in informatica domain so copy this url and keep it with you if you go down you can see download certificate click on that and it will download octa.cert file and this cert file we will be importing into informatica trust store we can now assign users to this application but before assigning users click on general tab edit saml setting here under application username select sam account name instead of octa name and save the changes once the changes are saved click on assignment and assign users to this application click on assign assign to people and from here you can select the users to whom you want to assign this application you can review the user name which will be used to log into this application and then save and go back now the users are assigned to this application similar exercise you can do it for group also next step is to enable octa sso for informatica domain to do so we need to import the downloaded octa.cert file into informatica trust store here you can see first we need to change the directory to java jra bin because here the key tool utility will be present and then we need to run this key tool command in key tool command we are passing path of octa cert file which we just downloaded and then path of the informatica trust store file this is the default password for informatica trust store file and then we are also giving alias name to this trust store once we run this command the certificate will be imported into informatica trust store and to confirm that we can run second key tool command i have copied octa.cert file into services shared security and inside that i have created a folder called octa and here i have copied the cert file you can copy this cert file anywhere on informatica domain after running key tool import command you can see certificate was added to key store message and to confirm that we can run key tool list command after running this command you can see the alias name is what we have provided in previous command and all the details related to it which means the certificate was successfully imported to informatica trust store once the certificate is imported into informatica trust store the next step is to update the domain saml configuration and for that we need to run 
update domain saml configuration command to run this command we need to shut down domain and if you notice in this command we need to pass one parameter so here we need to pass octa app saml url this url is nothing but the url which was visible on download certificate page after we run this command we can also run the second command to update gateway node so first we will shut down informatica domain and then we'll be running both the commands one by one once informatica domain is shut down we can run update domain saml config command and you should see message like command ran successfully after this we will be running update gateway node command and here also you can see command ran successfully both the commands are successfully executed and now we can restart informatica services while the informatica services are starting let's go back to the ppt here we have provided link to the informatica documentation where all the steps are listed in detail once informatica services are up and running we can try to log into admin console and test this setup on the administrator login page under security domain you can see two options native and the ldap configuration which we created in this video select the ldap configuration and click on login it will redirect you to octa login page user can enter their octa login credentials and hit on sign in button now here you can see this user is logged into informatica administrator console using ldap configuration and the octa account was used to log into administrator console that means octa single sign on is successfully working we can do this test for ldm catalog as well let me log out from here on ldm admin page also under domain you will be able to see two options native and ldap configuration select the ldap configuration and click on login here you can see the user is logged into ldm catalog using octa credentials now in this browser since the octa is already logged in when i was logging into the administrator hence it was directly logged in after clicking the login button now let me click on log out from here and try to open ldm catalog url now on the catalog url i can select ldap from here and click on login and here also it will directly log in why because in this browser octa was already logged in let me test this in another browser right so i will open this browser in incognito mode and here i will enter ldm catalog url on this page under security domain i'll select ldap ad and click on login here i need to provide octa login credentials of the user and here you can see even on the ldm catalog page using octa credentials it was successfully able to log in so with this demo we are done with single sign on configuration for informatica web application like administrator catalog and catalog admin using octa sso we would love to hear from you on any of these informatica channels thank you